Hey everyone, it is Kim. It is Monday, July something. Um, oh, let's see what day it is. July 15th. So I'm here to film what I've gotten finished. I'm sorry if I'm shaking you. I've got you on the most flimsy of tables. And I'm also going to or film a couple of um, acquisition videos, um, one for fabric and one for glitter, but I'll discuss that towards the end. Now, I filmed, not this past Friday, but the Friday before, and like my giveaway videos, the audio just did not work. So, the items that I'm going to show you are stuff that I finished... By last Thursday and by the Thursday before. So this is technically two weeks. About 14 days worth of stuff that I got finished. It looks like a lot. It's not a lot. I don't know. But I did do some new patterns this week. So I'll show you those. So let's get started. Because I've got a lot that I want to discuss and film. So the first things that I've got to show you are by Old Soul Crochet. This is the Chubby Bunny. Um, this was a, it's a free tutorial on YouTube. It's also a free PDF on Ravelry. And this is a really quick and easy pattern. It takes me less than 90 minutes. So the first one I did is this blush pink one. I love the floppy ears. And they've got little bobble stitches. So the only sewing you do is the eyes and the ears. But it's really, really cute. So I did this one. And this is um, all Bernat Blanket yarn. This is in like blush pink. So it's a really light pink. Sorry if you hear that noise. I'm tossing them into the bucket to get them out of the way. Then I did it in purple. So this is a Joann's exclusive. This one is called Lilac, I believe. But before I did that one, I did this one. And I want to show you, this is in Almond, which is also a Joann's exclusive. But for some reason, my Almond one came out significantly smaller than my... Um, other two. I don't know if I missed some rows. I need to go through and count. But he's still really cute. So I've got it in almond and in lilac. Now one of my favorite things that I've done in a long time is Milo the Hedgehog. And this one is so creative and so cute. The way that it just comes together is so much fun. But I have him finished. Look at his little feet. This is in taupe, almond, and white for blanket yarn. And then, of course, black and white for the nose and the eyes. The nose, I don't think I stuffed it enough coming out. But I still think he looks cute. His eyes are a little wonky, but... Very cute, very cuddly. Very easy pattern to make. It only took me a couple hours to do. So that is Milo the Hedgehog. And then, also from Old Soul Crochet, I did Wendy Narwhal. And I did her in that pink color. And the horn has got some sparkle in it, but this is Hushner's Holiday Yarn. Um, and then, of course, you got black and white for the eyes. And accidentally, you'll see how it's kind of curved that way. I put the eyes on wrong and I couldn't get them off because the eyes should have been over some because the tail technically should have been down here. But you don't really notice it from this. So there wasn't much I could do about that point without cutting the actual stitches, which then I'd have to reverse it. But look at the narwhal fabric. I actually got a couple yards of narwhal fabric um, to use on these and it's so cute. Some of them have bow ties on. They've got donuts. So this is Wendy Narwhal. So then I also worked on another new pattern. And it is the Caterpillar Amigurumi Crochet Pattern. This is by Michelle Estrada. She also has a YouTube channel. She's a really, really sweet girl. She um, 
I'll have a YouTube channel linked down below. She does some really creative stuff. So I did the one with the bobble stitch feet. And that's it's a little wonky for being in the bucket. But this is it. It's got some little bobble stitch feet. I haven't put a mouth on it yet. Because I usually don't put mouths on my stuff. But for some things it does work. So this is actually in um, Red Heart Comfort yarn. Um, I do not know the colorways, but because I just got a bunch of them and have been using them. But they've got the little bobble stitch feet. I love how this turned out. And I've actually got some um, rattle inserts that I'm going to put in some of them so that you can, you know, use it as a rattle and it'll be a lot of fun. But you, this whole thing is done as one piece. Then you do the head and sew it on and the antenna and sew it on. So easy. So much fun. So I did that one. Alright, next I did some um, Bonto Dinosaurs by Not Too Shabby. You know, tried and true pattern here. I finished these two, which are in the Rainbow Confetti colorway by Big Twist. Because um, if you remember, these only needed legs and a tail, so they now are finished. This is the green one I mentioned in my last finished videos that I couldn't find. This is in spring green. So he's been done for a couple weeks, but I haven't shown him, so he's done. And then this one I made this week completely beginning to end. And it is in a speckled yarn from um, Hobby Lobby. So he is done. I've still got quite a few more that need limbs, but we'll get around to that. Now, I'm going to show what I did. Um, the week before last, because I didn't do that much compared to what I did this past week. But I made two of, because I was using all um, turquoise and pretty in pink from um, Red Heart Super Saver. So I made two octopus, one out of each color. And those are the um, free mini octopus patterns. Everything will be down below. And then also using a free pattern, I made two Diddy Hedgehogs. So they're done. And they just have different um, the opposite colors. So those two are done. And those are also a free pattern. As is this. This is um, the Narwhal by... Random Randy's Rambling. And I just switched the colors on them with the little heart shaped booties. So those are done. I then also did a pink Timothy the T Rex, which is by Blue Phone Studios. Timothy the T Rex. And then I just did the turquoise for the stripes. And then I did a Peanut the Elephant, which is also a paid pattern. And whoa, this pink is bright in this room. It's Peanut the Elephant. It's a paid pattern by Betsy Brunston. And then I just did the turquoise inside the ears. Now, I do still have enough of the turquoise to make an elephant. Excuse me while I pick up the T-Rex. And I'm already working on a T-Rex. So basically what that does, let me put these down, is I was able to get two hedgehogs, two octopuses, two narwhals, and I'll be able to get two T-Rexes and two elephants out of two skeins of yarn. So that is where I get a lot of my profit from because, you know, out of those two skeins of yarn... Maybe if they were the most expensive I buy, they were $3 a piece. And these are not the jumbo yarn. These is the standard yarn. So, 
you know, for six dollars in yarn and then a few dollars in stuffing and a couple dollars in safety eyes, I was able to get so far eight items, but you know, I'll be able to get two more. So I'll be able to get 10 items for that two skeins of yarn. All right, so another, so that is what I did the week before last. So everything else that I'm showing you I actually did last week. Um, I've got another octopus. This is in Kaleidoscope, which is a um, color by Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. And this is Kaleidoscope. So I've got him done. Then I did some more T-Rexes this week. Some of these were already works in progress, and I'll explain that. This one is got something on it. This one is in green. This is tea leaf, and I'm not sure what this light green is. Because when I was getting ready for my um, big craft show last year, I only had a two-week notice before it. And I had a lot of stuff that were like partially done that I was, you know, working, working, working and just couldn't get it finished. Um, this is one of those. All he needed was one more arm and his feet. So I did those and I assembled him this week. So he's actually been waiting since November to come to live. So he's finished. This is one that I did in full this week. This is in Kaleidoscope. I had a few things in this last year and they sold really well. But this is Kaleidoscope. Let me see if I can. But another T-Rex. And then I did another one in another of the James C. Brett Party Time Chunky Yarns. I did a T-Rex. So I've done two in these colors and I've got a bunch more of this yarn. But I just love how the colors come together. It's so pretty. So those are the Timothy T-Rexes I did this week. Um, I did two more peanut... Whoops, sorry. I did two more peanut the elephants, but these, like the um, green T-Rex, part of these were already done. This is in that blue speckled yarn from Hobby Lobby again. And the inside of the ears... Is the sparkly yarn that is on the narwhal's horn from Hushner's. Now, this one had a head. Yeah, this one had a head and two of its feet. So I had to do its ears and the other two feet and then assemble the body. Now, you have to be careful with these because the way that you attach the neck, this one's a little loose, but. These, this is definitely for older kids because they can rip the neck off if they're not careful. But this one is done. And that's Peanut the Elephant again. And then I've got one in Banana Berry. And the inside of the ears is um, the Crafter's Choice or Crafter's Secret. Excuse me. My alarm to tell me to go take my medicine. Um, they're kind of spring green color. Now, this one's head don't move as bad, but this one had a head and ears. So I had to do all four feet and assemble the body for this one. So he's done. So those two peanuts and the green T-Rex have been sitting since November waiting for the rest of their bodies. This is um, a lovey that I actually pulled out of my... Um, Works in progress, Ben, but it is done. This is in ice yarn. I'm not sure which of the colorways, but this is ice yarn. This is a pattern. It's a paid pattern. It's a Bill Joan Lovey pattern. So you get to pick the stitch for the blanket and all. So this one's done. It's a little kitty cat. I'm not a big fan of putting faces on something that could potentially be in a child's mouth. It might eventually get a face. I'm not quite sure yet. But that one... Has been done. I don't know why it was in my works in progress bucket. Then, my last finished objects are a bunch of the same thing. And they are the little squidlets. 
This is a free pattern by Miss Adventures of Alice. Very quick, very easy pattern. These are all destined to get key rings put on them. Um, I actually leave some of these out randomly with little tags on them all over town. So some of these will be used for that and then some will be used in my show. But I've got five in the Crushed Berry Hush Nose Worsted 8 colorway. This is the Crushed Berries. So I've got five of those. This is a bigger one, and it's got tap by fuzz. This is in one of the um, Charisma colorways. So this one is big and squishy. He won't be on a key ring, but he'll probably um, be one of the ones I'll leave out. I've got two in the Spice. This is also a Hush Nose Wash to Date colorway. Then I've got two in the Hush Nose Worst to Date Holiday. This is the Full Moon. It has got sparkles in it. So I've got two in that. That's one of the Halloween colorways. This, this one also is as well. This one is in Bewitched. Because my, some of my shows are around Halloween, so... This one is in Bewitched. And I've actually done a T-Rex in this one, which sold last year at Christmas time. So that one is done. And then I've got two more. And this is in the Rainbow Confetti colorway again. So some of these will become keychains and be used in my show. Some of them will get tags and be left around town. So that is my finishes for the last two weeks. Now, I've been working on a lot of other stuff. I've actually wrote down my works in progress, and I'm up to like 50. Um, the baby pandas just need arms. They're almost finished. I'm hoping to finish them today so I can get them out to the customer because I am very behind on that project. Um, and then I've got tons of others. But the new works in progress that I've been actively working on, I will show you now. And we're going to bring out Amber Me Monsters. My book's been through a lot. Now, I've made one of these before, and it is the Yum Yum Monster. And people thought he was a frog at the shows, but he did not sell last year. But I don't mind because I love him. But I've actually started, he is in orange and blue. So I have started one in pink. And I've gotten through to now where we're doing the decreases for the rest of the body. And this is in Red Heart Super Saver Petal Pink. So for him, it's hard to show you without showing the pattern. There's another picture of him. On the back of him is actually... Um, he's got, of course, his tail, his arms, and his spots. So, for him, you've got to do the body piece, which is huge. And then you've got this big mouthpiece that folds in half. He's got a tongue. Let me just put this here. He's got a tongue. He's got two eyes and then two eyelids, two arms. And then you've got his, um tail and spots. Last time I did him, he only took me about 12 hours. Doing that last night was only a couple hours, so it wasn't too bad. So I'm working on him, and also from this book, because I want to do most of the monsters in this book for my craft shows. I'm also working on Toby the Triclops, and I've gotten further on him because he is considerably smaller, but this is in, and this is, this color is coming up a lot darker than it really is. This is a nice light color. Um, this is the Fresh Mint color from Red Heart Super Saver. And for, since this is not coming up exactly right, the um, 
green that is in banana berry is what this color actually is. It's coming up very dark on the screen. But I've got his body done. I've got one of the feet done because the feet go in the front like this. So one of the feet's done. And then I've got one eyeball. So he still needs two more eyeballs, one more foot, and both of his legs, or both of his arms, rather. And he'll be done. Again, I love all the patterns in these books. So he's been a lot of fun to work on, and he's pretty quick, too. So that is what he is going to look like. Now... I'm also working on, from my Monsters 2 book, and I made one of these back when Kim from Blue Chev, hey Kim, um, I made one of these back when she did, but I, it sold instantly and I never got a picture of it, but it is Dee Dee the Donut Monster, so I'm making another one because that one was so popular, I'm making another one for my booth. And... I'm making that one in Hushner's Worsted 8 in the posy color. And all I've gotten so far is this much of the head. So I was on a little bit of Start All the Monsters um, binge this weekend. But those definitely will get done quite quickly because I want to get quite a few monsters for my booth this year. Because I only had the Yum Yum Monster last year. And, like, there's a, to go with Yum Yum, let me pull out Monsters too. To go with Yum Yum, he's got a little brother, or sister, um, named Yummy. So, there's the two of them together. So, I plan on doing a couple of the yummies to go with the um, yum yum monster that I did. I also really want to make Marty the party, mo party monster because my birthday is in two weeks. So I just think it'd be fun to make um, going into my birthday. But most of the patterns in these books I want to get made before my show. Some I only want one, some I want multiples of. So, hopefully that will come together. I just need to kind of not start anymore until I get those done, which is easier said than done for me. The only other new work in progress that I have, you'll remember these, is the mini elephants. This is a paid pattern by my Chrissy Dolls. I'm making the smaller of the elephants. And what I want to try to do is make anywhere from two to five of something when I make it so that way I can kind of wrap that up and then move on to the next pattern and you know have multiples of something in case I don't get back around to it before the show um I'll at least have multiples of the characters for some of the larger monsters I'm not going to do that um I've already got one of the yum yum monsters so I don't need a second or a third one because I'm doing the second one this one, I wasn't sure how it would be, so I only made one, but I will be making a couple more of those. And the Donut Monster is so big that one of those is plenty for my show, because whether or not it'll sell. But, for the mini elephants, they are smaller, so I'm making three of those at one time, and the um, colors of the sweaters will be different. So, all I've gotten so far is one head. So I've got one head done, but hopefully, I'm hoping by the end of um, this upcoming weekend to have all three of these done, because they only take me about three or four hours each, so it shouldn't take me more than a day of work to get them all done. I've just got to quit bouncing from project to project. So I'm going to be doing that with a lot of the patterns upcoming because I need to make sure that I've got multiples of certain things. Um, last year, I sold a lot of the brontosauruses, the T-Rexes, the octopies, and the giraffes, Bavudu Maggie, and the peanut elephants. But that was the main things that I had. 
So I want to take a whole wide range this year. So it's just hard to, you know, get them all done. So next time I get around to making um, T-Rexes, I'm going to make three to five in one thing. And those are going to be done until I get back around to them. Same with Peanut the Elephant. Same with the Bonasauruses. So then that way, as I get back around to them, I've gotten a nice stockpile of them. I do already have quite a few um, T-Rexes and Bonasauruses, so I'm not too worried about those. But, like, I only I think I have one, maybe two giraffes in my stash, so I definitely need to get some of those made. Um, and then I've only got four, maybe five of the peanuts. So, it'll get there. And you guys will get to see me do it. Now, I have a lot of acquisitions. I am going to actually film two more videos here. Because I've gotten the sewing bug a little bit. Um... I want to make some stuffed animals for my show. Just to, so that I'm not always crocheting. So I'm doing something else. Because you do get that block where you just can't do anymore. Um, and I also need some bags that are large. So I'm going to work on making some bigger bags that zip. But that are large enough so when I'm making, you know, three or four items this size I can keep all the pieces all the skeins of yarn everything in one bag so I got some fabric to make project bags and I got some fabric um that'll be for other stuff so I'm going to do a video showing the fabric and then I've also got a um bunch of glitter in and I just didn't want to add that to this video in case you know People that are just here for crochet. The glitter that I got is for, um, it's for the custom tumblers that I do. So it's a little fancier glitter than, you know, you normally see. But I do have a package here that I'm getting ready to ship out. On one of the Facebook groups that I'm on, we're doing a Christmas in July gift. So I went a little over budget, but I got... You know, some of the stuff off her wish list. I got her this llama slash alpaca crochet project book. Which is actually really cool because the inside is all graph paper. And the back is notes. So this is really cool. It's a really thick project book. So I got her that. Because that was on her list. Also, she's a... Harry Potter fan, so I got her a Ravenclaw hoodie. This was on a wish list. This is why I went over budget was on this. Because the yarn I got her alone was the budget, and then this cost just as much. So, but it's okay. I like giving gifts. And now one of the, um, yarns that she had on her wish list was these Karen Cupcakes. And they've come with little pom-poms with them. I don't want to take them out of plastic. But these are a... Um, little three ounce with a pom-pom. They're light. Which normally can cakes are not a number three. But these are. You can see those. And then these got the matching... Pom pom. So I'm gonna wrap that up and get that out to her. Hopefully she'll like it. It's all things she recently put on her wish list for this uh, swap. So because we used um, Elfster to set it up. Hey, <sighs> well I'm already at 30 minutes. I will let you all go and have a wonderful week. Don't forget to check out my giveaways if you haven't yet. I've got two of them going on this month. I will be getting this stuff together from the August giveaway, which is going to be a birthday giveaway because my birthday is the beginning of August. And I'm going to be giving away some of my favorite things. So I've got some interesting things for that. So I will see you all later. Oh, before I forget, I'm going to leave the link down below to... Quinn's channel. If you've not checked her out yet, she's a lovely lady that lives in the Bahamas. 
She is really sweet. She does a lot of animal grooming. She actually challenges me to do more because she can get so much done in a week. Um, we, we definitely are able to feed off each other for that to try to strive to do even more. Um, wonderful, wonderful lady. She, um, releases a video every Sunday, but was not able to yesterday. Um, she is having a family situation. We all send her much love and hope that everything becomes okay soon with that. And I will link her down below. Make sure you check her out. You won't regret it. She's really, really sweet. And I will see you all later. Bye.